Hello everyone, happy Monday. I just wanted to share a few recipes I curated for Instagram this week. Please let me know down below what recipes you would like to see next and I will definitely prepare those for you. Please like, share, and comment. And let me know which one of these recipes are you gonna try this week. The first item we're gonna make is some delicious shrimp and broccoli. In this bowl, we're gonna add some shrimp, a little bit of salt and pepper, some soy sauce, and some cornstarch. And you're gonna mix that together and set that aside while we prepare our sauce. In this bowl, we're gonna add some oyster sauce, a little bit of ginger paste, some chopped garlic, a little bit of browning, soy sauce, coconut sugar, Maggie seasoning, and cornstarch. Then we're gonna mix that together with a little bit of water. And now we're ready to prepare our meal. In this pot, I just have some boiling water and I added my broccoli to that and I let that blanch for about a minute. You don't need to cook it more than that because you still want it to be crunchy. In that same pan, I'm gonna add some oil and put my marinated shrimp in there. Um, I would definitely suggest using a lot more oil or using a <laughs> non-stick skillet because my shrimp was definitely up and stuck, but <laughs> we eventually got it together and I just started scraping it off. This was so good. When I tell you guys it was so good, I typically make this like pretty often. I love making Chinese food, period. And then I added some pepper flakes, that is optional, and my sauce. Let that thicken a little bit, then add my broccoli, and we're pretty much done. It's a really simple dish to make, very easy, few, very few ingredients, and it tastes identical to the one you'll get at the Chinese store, I promise you. And if you wanted to, you could add some carrots, but I am not a fan of cooked carrots, so there's that. And voila, it's looking good, right? It was fire, I promise you it was fire. Let me know how you like this recipe. We interrupt this schedule programming, not me coming through with my own sponsorship, sponsoring my own, listen, we out here flourishing. I really wanted to share my baby with you all. This is my flatware line. It comes with six pieces in each set. It comes in five colorways. However, currently in stock, we only have four. You can find these pieces on IamAshleyMorgan.com or you can follow us on Instagram at IamAshleyMorganLLC. And if you cannot purchase it, that is completely fine. I would love if you can just share our post on your Instagram. That would be awesome. Commercial over. Let's get back to the program. <laughs> she making some steamed fish. And here we are for this one. Look, look, look there. Look at her. <laughs> I cannot. The fish that we're preparing today is snapper. I went to the farmer's market and I typically get them to clean scale and take the head off if I need to. You can do it yourself, but I ain't doing all that. <laughs> so in my pot, what I did was season my snapper with some salt, pepper, a little bit of curry powder, some garlic and herb seasoning, as well as added my vegetables. My vegetables consist of bell peppers, onions, tomatoes, thyme, some okra, uh, coconut milk, scotch bonnet pepper, and some water. Cover it up and allow it to steam. When I tell y'all this was so fire, it was my first time making it, and I, you see my little happy dance? It was so good. I decided that on the side, I wanted to have some dumplings. So on the side, what I did was add some cornmeal, salt, and flour, and a little bit of cold water, and I mixed that together and formed this dough wall. And basically what you do is putting in a pot of water to boil and when it starts to flow, it's ready to go. I also decided that I wanted some green banana with it as well. Typically, I feel like fish goes a green banana, dumpling, and yam. Call your mother, not me. It just It's just hand in hand. You have to have steamed fish with dumpling, banana, and yam. I didn't have any yam, but you know, if I did, this would be it. And this is my fish. It was really good, y'all. I promise you, you will not regret trying this. And I was making my lunch for the day. This was earlier in the day, so I don't really care for bread when I make sandwiches, so I typically make lettuce wraps. Um, and I decided to make a roasted chicken lettuce wrap. So here I have some mayo, uh, romaine lettuce, some chicken, onions, cucumbers, and some bell peppers. A little bit of Miss Dash seasoning, some tzatziki, and I just wrapped that up. Um, I actually made this for the next day. However, I would not suggest making this like an, in advance. I would just make it the day of because the lettuce will wilt and it will get soggy. 
learn from my mistakes. I, I, I knew this, but <laughs> I just had a faith that it would not, it didn't work out, y'all. Don't do what I did, but it was good. Twice a week, I make a fruit salad. This one was kiwi, mango, and red plum. I always have this on hand for when I'm hungry and I want something sweet. I either eat it by itself, I will put it on top of some plain Greek yogurt with a little bit of honey drizzle on it because when I don't feel like it, this is always my go-to. This day I decided that I wanted some seasoned rice. So in a pan I have some bell peppers, onions. I'm going to go ahead and add my salted cod and flake that up a little bit and mix that together. Saute that for a little bit as well. Then I'm gonna add some, some green seasoning. My green seasoning is a mixture of two cultures. So I love Haitian epis and I love Jamaican green seasoning. So I kind of combine the two together to get my ideal taste. If you would like that recipe for that green seasoning, let me know down below. It is a staple in all my recipes. I typically add it to everything. And then I'm gonna add a lot of black pepper. Adding a lot of black pepper is a staple for this dish. You have to add a lot of black peppers. It's not negotiable <laughs> at all. Then we're gonna add some coconut milk, add some salt, scotch bonnet, my wash parboiled rice. I'm gonna mix that together, then add my aki in. You can buy aki in almost any grocery store. It would probably be in the international aisle where all the Jamaican items are and it comes in a can. Bro, that's about $10, <laughs> but it's worth it. And you're just gonna let that steam and voila, we have this beautiful, fluffy, delicious rice. Let me know how you like these recipes. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys so much. Deuces.